and Conor McGregor. So here is Conor McGregor making the walk once again, the only simultaneous two-division champion in UFC history, and really a guy who has taken the sport by storm. His win over Jose Aldo, Nate Diaz, most recently Eddie Alvarez. Remarkable what McGregor has accomplished in a short time in the UFC. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan-favorite combination. So here he is, the Dagestani combat sambo master, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Used to wrestle bears as a kid, and he's been equally successful against human beings, undefeated thus far. Most takedowns in a single UFC fight took Abel Trujillo down 21 times on 27 attempts, Joe. And that was a three-round fight. More often than not, when this man wants you on your back, that's exactly where he'll put you. And if you want to get up, best of luck to you. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Both fighters, 29 years of age. Nurmagomedov is one inch taller. McGregor will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record now. 21 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler. Professional record now. 26 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. Are you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title is on the line. All right, so will we get a new champion here tonight? That remains to be seen. Round one is underway. This fight, five minutes or fewer, for the UFC lightweight championship. For the number one contender, this is his first championship opportunity. And given the depth at 155 pounds, you may not get another one. We'll see if he is urgent early as he tries to wrest away the belt. Right hand upstairs. Welcome to the jungle. Joe, what are you looking for out of him here in the early going? Conor McGregor has a very diverse striking arsenal. He has very good kicking technique. Good job of timing this combination of strikes here. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Nice punch there by McGregor. Double jab there by Nurmagomedov. 
doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Strong work with the inside leg kick. Punches block. That one hurt. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. There's a nice straight right hand. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Oh, McGregor's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious lift. Nice jab. Very snappy jab. Oh, that kick is good by him on the mat. McGregor gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Well, he established the jab early and going right back to the well here. Leg kick checked nicely by McGregor. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Landing a good series of strikes here. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. Oh, effective strike there by Lago Meta. There was a nice exchange. throughout the fight. We knew it was eventually going to be a real problem, and this is the last one that he absorbed for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, how's that for a flurry to end this fight here tonight? It was the one big strike that was the beginning of the end, got the knockdown, and then created the opening that allowed him to jump in and ultimately force the stoppage victory. So the referee made... Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib Nagibola. Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You got to touch. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You got to be possessed with the dream. The dream. The dream. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend at Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said, and knew. And he was crowned UFC lightweight champion of the world thanks to a memorable performance. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.